So a couple times a year I go through my freezers and I kind of um, do an inventory and kind of check to see what I have and um, what needs to be used up. And so I do that typically in January um, and then again towards like later spring around Easter and then definitely at the end of the summertime. Anyways, this is kind of what I do um, just like three times a year, um, seasonally. And then I'm looking in the freezer to see if there's any things that I can use for meals that I forgot about and to use up so we're constantly recycling through so I have not organized this, this is not pretty um this is just our kitchen freezer that kind of gets random things thrown in it all the time I'm a little bit better about our garage freezer and making sure everything's always rotated <laughs> but this freezer I just make sure that I'm using um, a lot so we'll see we'll see what it looks like I'm trying to make sure that you can see me and see inside so we'll see what happens so this is just real live what's in there there's some spinach I probably have uh, too many containers of spinach in here honestly Look, more spinach more spinach <laughs> so I need to use some spinach up so at least I know all the spinach these little pieces of spinach are from the last three months so it's not that old because there's some jalapenos that I threw in there in October this whole container I have bananas frozen bananas that are sliced and then this container, I have this whole basket. I have peaches in here that are frozen. These are from, oh, the beauty. The beauty. These peaches are from the last summer, so from September. And then I have some mangoes that I had cut up and put in today. There's some more peach, um, peaches here. And then I have sliced pineapple. These were nectarines. So this one's actually frozen solid. So I wouldn't be able to use this for a smoothie necessarily. But like the pineapple, when I cut it up, I flash freeze it on a cookie sheet um, for a couple hours before I put it into the bag. So I cut the pineapple up when I get it on sale. And then I flash freeze it and put it in bags. And as long as you flash freeze it first, then it will stay um, where it's I'm not stuck together. And the peaches are the same thing. They, I can pull out just a few peaches. You know, they just, they're not stuck together. But this one is frozen solid, so I would not be able to do that. It must have had a bunch of liquid in it when I froze it. Okay, so that's kind of like the tropical basket that we normally keep. And then I normally keep another basket that has berries in it. These are raspberries. Again, they're from last summer. I write how many cups there are. So this is three cups of berries. So I know if I'm going to do something. And then these are mixed berries. So I can just easily get these out and put them in my blender um, to make a smoothie or if I'm making the dessert or something. And then I have some blackberries here too that are from last summer. And then I have way more downstairs in the freezer. Um, these are pomegranates that are frozen. Those with the berries for some reason. And then I have some blueberries in here too. I have a bunch more downstairs in the freezer of those also. And then these are pomegranates. Also pomegranate seeds. Let's put those back in and I'll close this up. So this top drawer, I just kind of keep smoothie items. So it's always ready to go. Our fridge does have another container right here that's for ice. And most of the year I just take it out because we don't go through that much ice. Um, so if you were buying this fridge, um, it's an algae fridge, but if you were buying it and it has the ice maker there, that's why I have so much drawer space is because I just took that basket out and turned that ice maker off. I still have ice in the door. This is the smoothie drawer and my random jalapenos that I have there. I'm gonna actually write the jalapenos down on my list so I remember to use these. Um, otherwise I might forget that I have these in here. So the smoothie things I just normally always have in there and I buy them once a year for the berries when they're in season. So I wrote it on my list and then I'll remember when I'm needing one for a recipe to pull it out of the freezer instead of buying it. In here I have some turkey that was left over from Thanksgiving that I kind of forgot about. So that's another reason why I put stuff up here. And then these are um, egg noodles for like chicken noodle soup. So even with the turkey that I had left over in here, I can make chicken noodle soup or turkey noodle soup. We have all the dingers going off. These are frozen peas. And then here's some more spinach that is lost. I don't need to buy any spinach for a while, it looks like. I have pesto that I made. And here's some more pesto. And then there is 
a bag of potatoes. Here's some tomato paste. So I didn't need the full can, so I put them in this container. So um, this is, again, something I want to use up that I don't normally have in the freezer. On this freezer, I don't necessarily keep track of um, everything that I have in it. I just like to do that thorough um, look through everything and make sure I'm not overbuying. Obviously, I've been buying too much spinach lately, <laughs> and it keeps getting tossed into the freezer because we haven't been making as many smoothies um, for some reason. So probably because it's cold and it's, you know, you don't always want smoothies when it's cold. Beepers just drive me nuts, just so you know. So it's not the freezer beeping, it's the dishwasher beeping or whatever. So we got all these new appliances last year and they all beep. On my list, I'm just kind of writing down the things that I want to make sure that I'm using up. So the things I'm kind of writing down on my list are the turkey slices, the jalapenos that I don't normally have in the freezer. I have some tomato paste and then I have, I'm gonna reach in here and grab, I have some um, corn that I must have only used part of it and then threw it in the freezer. So next time we need something with corn in it, I'll defrost this and use this instead of using one that is on the shelf. Um, I guess I should talk about this while it's here. Normally, I don't put regular mouth um, jars in the freezer, but do you see how much head space there is um, here? So there was enough for it to expand. I'm kind of imagining it was probably half full when I put it in here. And then normally I use wide mouth jars because this is called the shoulder and the wide mouth jars have less of a shoulder and so they don't crack as easily when they're frozen. But you can use a regular mouth jar. Um, that was obviously something that wasn't warm when I put it in there. This is kale that I bought around Christmas time to make soup. I just found the soup and never got around to it. And more spinach. I cannot buy spinach from the store for a while. So I'm going to put the more spinach up here because we have a lot of it and I will just use it up. Then we have some ice cream here. Tillamax. That was leftover from Thanksgiving. And then I noticed that we had some monk fruit apple pie filling that I had made over the holidays and didn't use it all up. So I think I'm going to defrost this in the refrigerator and then maybe we'll have some apple crumble, apple pie crumble, or cobbler crumble, crumble. Well, I don't know. Whatever. We're going to have some dessert with some ice cream probably in the next couple days. So I'm going to put this in the fridge because that sounds good for this weekend. And then we have some gluten-free dinner rolls that are in here. And then when I'm cooking, I always keep celery and carrot tops. And when this bag gets full, then I'll make um, chicken stock. So. so if you want to learn how to make chicken stock, go over to thecrosslegacy.com backslash chicken stock and you can find that, um, that blog post. Look, more spinach. There is a ridiculous amount of spinach in here. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Downstairs I have more of these. Um, there's just one up here. But this is um, onions and red and green peppers. I froze these in October. So when I got them on sale, I froze them so I have these packages. And I can just put these um, directly into the crock pot or um, the Instapot when I'm making something and it's all ready to go. And I got those peppers on sale for three for a dollar when they were in season at the um, end of fall. When we saw peppers in the store the other day, they were $3.99. So... I have all the peppers that I need. Then we have some little forgotten about hamburger buns. There's a couple in there. Is there four? Ooh, the deep end. I have some pulled pork downstairs in the refrigerator, which is great. There's always a nice pack. There's a um, frozen turmeric. Did I say that right? That I got this fall. And you don't really normally see it through the year. This is a cauliflower rice. See, I need to write this one on my list because that's one that needs to be used up and I would forget about. This is um, sausage that's already cooked. And then I have, guess what? There's more spinach in here. Like way too much spinach, you guys. Way too much spinach. It's kind of funny. I haven't went grocery shopping since um, December 30th. I'm going to close that for a second. So I went grocery shopping on December 30th. Today is January 28th. On December 30th, I used the last of my grocery budget um, that I had for 2021 and then we just got home from Nashville so we were gone for a week of that but I still have everything fresh that I need to go and <laughs> need to make things and having fresh greens was kind of one of the things that would have sent me to the store and I was just like 
we don't need to go get lettuce per se, like to have a salad for a couple days. We can just make sure that we're having smoothies every day and then we'll be getting our greens in. And so that way I have a ton of spinach in here that needs to be used up anyways. And I am pushing off going to the grocery store until February. And then that way it's a February budget instead of a January budget. And then my whole grocery budget for January, I get to put in savings. So later in the year when there is a sale or if I wanna buy a bigger purchase on something or when it's canning season and I want to get cases of tomatoes or whatever, I have already a savings account for groceries and longer term storage. So um, that's what I decided to do for the month of January. So I'm still with the pantry challenge, I'm still, getting the grocery money that I would normally get in the budget, I'm just putting it into savings instead of using it and then waiting until February to actually go to the store. Again, we haven't went to the store since December 30th. We did go on a trip for a week, but we still, like even today, we have almond milk, we have powdered creamer, we have bread, we have oranges, we have apples, we have like everything that we could possibly need. And the only thing that we didn't have was fresh greens, but I have plenty of frozen greens. So there was no reason to go to the store. Just changing that thinking that you have to go to the store, like the day that you get back from a trip, you don't always have to. So and this is how we save money. I have some cauliflower gnocchi that I made. Ooh, I hit my head. And then they're um, in the food saver packages. And they're just a few little hash browns, or not much browns, they're going to be And then I do have a package of um, flour tortillas, and then the gyros, or the pita flatbreads. I always only defrost half of the package and not the full package. And then there's some ginger here. Generally when I'm freezing ginger, I will peel it first before putting it in here, but I must have just randomly done that. And then I have some Elliott Homestead starter that was sent to me a while ago and we were in the middle of the kitchen remodel and I didn't have, I didn't have an oven in my kitchen. First oven in my kitchen. Anyways, this is the Elliott Homestead starter that I was told that I could put in there. And then I just have a random aloe. So this could be defrosted for a burn or something. And then this looks like, this is some numbs. Some yogurt, it was probably getting ready to expire and I threw it in there so somebody could eat it frozen. Just some chocolate bars, ice cream, some more chocolate bars, and an ice cream sandwich. These are from our neighbor. He gets a delivery and then we end up getting some from him occasionally. So anyways, that is what is in my kitchen freezer but on my list I'm only putting the hamburger buns I'm gonna put the sausage I'm gonna put the cauliflower rice that needs to be used up and other than that and the things I mentioned before other than that I'm not really focusing on exactly what the inventory is for me it's more of a mental um, checklist so I know that these things need to be used up I will make sure that they're used up and the spinach holy cow there's a lot of spinach in there I didn't realize there was so much in there I will be doing that in the next couple weeks and make sure that we use up all these things that are on the list and then that way um, when I start bringing new stuff in, I know that the old stuff was rotated out. All right, I will see you guys later.